Hey, what up guys? Carlos here, aka Lobo Films. And today I'm going to show you how to do my signature time freeze warp effect, which I use on a lot of my fitness edits, just like these. Now to pull off this effect, we're going to need two things. A camera that can shoot at 60 frames per second or higher and a gimbal to stabilize your shots. Now I highly recommend that you use a gimbal just because if you try to do it handheld, once we're editing the footage and then we go to speed up the clip, it's going to look really shaky and choppy. So with that being said, let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'm going to show you some raw footage first, explain to you how we got the shot, and then afterwards we'll piece it all together with some music and sound effects. Alright guys, so here's the raw clip right here, um, what I'm about to show you. Um, every time I go to film this shot, I always tell them to do two reps, and then on the third one, I'll tell them to hold it. I go around them, and then once I get to the other side, I'll say go, or I'll say rep it out, and then, you know, they continue on with their set. Um, the whole point for, for them to hold it is to do it at the hardest part of the movement. So if they're doing like a lat pull down, for instance, and they come down, you want them to hold it there. If they're doing a seated row and they pull it to their chest, you want them to hold it there. In this case, he's doing lateral raises, so I want him to hold it at the top. So whenever you have them hold it at the hardest part of the movement, the more realistic it looks versus if they're at a relaxed state. And then it won't even look that intense. So um, I'm going to play the raw footage for you first. You'll kind of like hear what I'm telling him. And then after that, we'll piece it together. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's really simple. Not, nothing special to it. You know, they just hold it and then I go around them. And then all the magic happens whenever I start editing and uh, really bring it to life. So let's, um, let's put it together and I'll show you how to do it. So right here we have our clip. This is the normal, normal speed. We're going to right click and duplicate. That way we have the normal speed and then this one we're going to modify it to be a lot slower. Um, when you do the effect, you don't want to go from normal speed to super fast back to normal speed. You want to go from slow to fast to slow. That way it looks more dramatic when you do it. Also, if you notice down here on my audio track, I already have it cut up. So right here, this cut right here is for the bass, and this one is for a clap. So when I do this effect, I like to always, I don't know, I guess start it right when the bass hits, and then it kind of goes into the time freeze, and then when it claps, it's him coming out and uh, getting back into the workout. Um, it always sounds more dramatic when they come out of the freeze when it's a clap. Um, so yeah, right here we have the clip. We'll right click. Go to modify, interpret footage, and right here it says 59.9, which is technically 60 frames. Well, we'll go right here to assume frame rate, and we'll change that to 23.976. Hit enter, and now you'll see this clip is going to be really slow. So let's find a spot where we want to mark in. So about right here would be um, about right here should be good. We'll mark in right here. Comes up, holds it, we go around, and then it starts coming down and we'll mark out. So this will be the footage that we use. We'll drag video only, we don't need the audio, and we'll bring it down here. Okay, so It's fine right where he's gonna hold it so about right right here should be good so we'll make a cut um, on my keyboard it's C so I hit C and my razor tool comes up but I customized my keyboard shortcuts so if you need to find the razor it's gonna be right here on the side and um, we'll hit C make a cut here and then scrub through over a little bit 
and then right when he's about to start coming down, we'll make another cut. So right about here, we'll make a cut here. And then let's drag this over. So we have a little too much footage right here, so we're gonna cut it down a little bit. And delete that, bring it over. Nope, still too much. Make another cut right here. Delete that. We'll bring it over, stretch it out. So when he comes up like this and then he stops, right there we're gonna go into the time freeze. So let's bring this over. All right, so we have to fit this clip right here in between these two lines, which would be the bass hit and the clap. Now there's two ways to do it. One's really hard. The other one's super easy. Um, I'll show you the hard way, kind of. Um, uh, I'll hit R on my keyboard and it'll pop up the clip speed duration, which again, I have a shortcut for that. But if you don't know it, you can go to sequence. I oh, know actually go to clip and speed duration, click that, and it'll pop up. And right here, it's at 100%, which you could change that and go 200%, 300%, and it'll start going down more and more. But I mean, you're gonna have to guess the exact number to fit it right here. And I mean, you could be here all day trying to guess numbers. The easier way, I'll hit F on my keyboard, which pops up this tool. It's also over here on the left side. It's called the rate stretch tool. And what this does is if you extend it out, it's gonna slow down the clip a lot more. If you bring it in, it's gonna speed it up more. So the nice thing about that, since we have our cuts made, we know exactly where we want it to finish. So we're gonna drag it all the way in right here and this should be set. Now we'll grab this clip, put it right behind. And the effect should start looking pretty good right here. So let's check it out. Here we go. Now to make it even better, let's add a sound effect to it. So I have like this power whoosh, swoosh sound, whatever the hell you want to call it. And um, this is what the sound is. But I don't need to use all that for it, so I'll just find a good part right here to make it sound a little more dramatic. So that should be good. I'll drag it down here. So let's see how that sounds. It sounds way better. It brings it to life. And that's about it, man. I mean, it's super easy. Um, just add, an, add a, a nice uh, whoosh sound to it, and it should be good. I mean, the clip came to life like that. And you can also use this either in the middle of his workout. So, like, he's doing the exercise. He's coming up. He's going to stop. It freezes. He goes around and then continues. Or you could have a completely different exercise right here. So, say he's doing, like, a shoulder press. And then it zooms out, and then it goes into the next exercise, which would be this. And this is your first scene. You know, so you can play around with it and do it however you want. But um, that's exactly how I do it. I've been getting tons of questions about it. So I figured I might as well make a tutorial. Um, hopefully y'all liked it. Uh, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see all y'all's videos and see other people trying it out. So um, give the video a like, and until next time.